great day to you. Welcome to my home. My name is Miss B, and I thought I would welcome you to my home. As I'm sitting here on this sofa, I'm thinking about all of the emails that I've received about my dear friend, some little lady that I love so much who has such a big heart for children. And I want you to hear these emails and I want you to meet my friend. Let me share this first email with you. It's from Ollie. Ollie is a father who has three sons. Ollie says, Miss B, I am so excited to hear that Granny B is coming back. I was just thinking about May, May 1985, when Granny B and Pastor Sawyer walked through the neighborhood and gathered up all of the little boys and girls and took us to the Royal Platter where we had this big party with so many children. And then I was telling Brayden and Karen, not only did we have that party, not only was I with Granny B in the beginning, but their mommy, Jen, and their big brother, Xander, and I, we used to go to the Rainbow Family Christian Bookstore once every month. And we went there to see the Granny B. Now, Karen and Brayden keep asking me, who is this Granny? Who is this Granny B that you're so excited about? And Mommy Jen and Sander, we try to tell them, but we're not doing such a good job. And we know that you know her so much better. Would you please tell Karen and Braden who Granny B is? Oh, as I sit here and think about 1985, and I think about Karen and Braden's question, I'm getting so sleepy. Karen's heart right here in my head. And their hearts have great big question marks on them. They want to know who the Granny B is. Do you want to know who the Granny B is too? Well, if you do, you're gonna have to put on your imagine cap. That's right. Put on your imagine cap, boys and girls. Just imagine a granny who loves you so much that her heart is full of love just for you. Just imagine a granny that would take your heart, like Karen and Braden's heart, right to God and tell him what's on your heart. Just imagine that God would listen to the granny and would talk to the granny and tell the granny just what you should do. And then the granny, just imagine that granny will come back to you and tell you what God said. Just imagine a granny that loves you so much that she'll teach you how to talk to God 
and tell him what's on your heart. That's right, Sugar Drop. Just imagine sweet cake, plumpkin. Well, guess what? I am the granny. I am the granny bee. And I love you so much, Sugar Drop. I love you so much. I'm going to take your heart to God. And I want to hear from you. Remember your daddy, maybe your mommy, or maybe both of them. Or it could have been your grandmommy, your granddaddy, your auntie, or your uncle. Maybe it was one of them, your cousin, or your big brother, big sister, that listened to the granny on the radio. But now you can see the granny. And I'm so glad that we have this time together. And I want to hear from you. You can write your comment. That's right, write it down just under this YouTube video. Oh, you can't write? That's all right. Ask your mommy and your daddy. If you ask them real sweet, or your big brother, or your grandmommy, or your granddaddy, to write it down for you. And don't forget, ask them to subscribe too, so you'll know the next time the Granny Bee will come back to talk to you. Blessings on you, Sugar Drop. I've got to go now. And don't forget, God loves you, and so does the Granny. Bye now, Sugar Drop. See you later, sweet cake. See you, plumpkin. Bye-bye.